The collision node checks to see if there is contact between two objects. But the objects have to be uh, editable, not parametric. So let's select both objects and turn them into editable objects. Right click on the sphere and go to programming tags, then choose Expresso. Drag both into the Expresso editor and drag the collision. Connect the object one to the object port, do the same for object two. And uh, let's create a text spline so we can see the result. Now the result, the uh, let's drag first the text spline into the Expresso editor and connect the text spline option to the collision node. You'll see that the output is either true or false. That's because the collision node outputs a Boolean value. Now it's false now because there is no contact between the two objects. Let's move the uh, sphere closer to the cube and until it touches it, you'll see that uh, the value changes to true. But uh, if we move the cube closer to the sphere, even if, if it's not touching the sphere, it, the value changes to true. That's because uh, the when you select the collision node, the collision type is set to bounding box, which means that the that Cinema 4D creates a, a, a box around the object uh, which marks its borders. Now, if you want the actual surface of the object to be the contact point, then change the collision type to object. Now, now the cube has to um, uh, literally touch the surface of the sphere in order for the value to change. And this is how the collision node works.